Alright, hey guys, uh, sorry for the fact that I've done a lot of um, gaming videos as of late. Uh, there's a whole reason behind those, and I will get to another video discussing those. Um, I'm also considering doing a video about free OS X, uh, which is the whole topic of uh, what Emeek and Mr. Bit10 and Gareth are talking about right now, or more or less arguing. Uh, I'm planning on doing a video about that, but this video is about. Um, an application I found, what I had already known of it, I just had forgotten about it, called Hazel. It's a shareware application, and it's probably one of the few apps I would say that every Mac user actually needs to have. Um, I wouldn't go so far as to put it into Mac OS X because it is slightly confusing at first, but it is something that I think that once you know how to use it, you should get it and, and buy it. And um, what Hazel is, is basically a made for your desktop. It uh, takes a lot of the hassle out of doing certain things um, and puts it right into this application. So first off, the price of it is $21. So it's um, slightly up there, but for what, what you uh, see it'll do, I think it's worth it. And I'm only going to be getting using the um, evaluation one, the evaluation version of it right here, but I am planning on buying it when I can afford it. Um, so it's a preference pane so let's go to the preference pane uh, system preferences um, just you know in other it's named hazel so there are three tabs uh, for hazel as you can see right here um, one of them the first one is folders and I'll, 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 I'll uh, discuss these in linear fashion so folders trash and info I'll discuss them in this order so um, first thing you'll see right here is you have this little option or, or um, box right here with a folder in it called downloads this is my downloads folder. Um, basically, uh, what this does is it lets me apply various options to any folder I select, and I'll go into more detail in one second about those. Um, and I can add multiple fol folders in here by just using the plus or minus. So minus takes away uh, plus add, so I can just select any folder in here. And um, then we go over here and we see throw away files. Um, basically, this will say, uh, automatically delete any duplicate files in this folder I've selected. Automatically delete any incomplete downloads after a certain amount of time, which uh, I actually want this on, so let me turn that on after one day. So basically, if I have any incomplete download from, say, uh, Safari or Firefox or anything like that, and it just canceled and stopped working, or I canceled it myself, and that incomplete file is just sitting in there, then after one day, it's going to be deleted out of here automatically. And then below that you see what's known as rules and these are just you know various rules you want well you don't know this but essentially you can apply rules or uh, set standards to your to your downloads folder so let me open up my downloads folder and I'll go into more detail in a second I, I think this is it yep this is my downloads folder um, so basically let's so I have as you can see here uh, a few folders in here so I have application documents movies music and pictures well you can see how that corresponds with here, and, I'll, and let me just double click on one of these. So, in, in here we can see that I have the description as movies. Now you'll see a whole bunch of rules like, uh, if any of these of the following conditions are met, kind is movie. All this is saying is, is if this is a movie file, or if the extension is MKB, or if the extension is ABI, as uh, I don't believe it supports these automatically, then it's going to do the following. It's going to move the file to movie. Um, to the movie folder and so I have a few of these and I'll, I'll show you a demo of this uh, in a second so I have music pictures documents etc so let me open up my um, my uh, work folder um, by work I mean you know uh, my online job folder with all my documents for that in there so I have a song in here called my song 2.mp4a let's see what would happen if I drag that into my downloads folder so let's drag that in there you see it appears there and it should uh, yep there it goes it was automatically sorted to my music folder. So you see it's in my song 2.m4a is now automatically sorted to my music folder. This also works for uh, as I have set up documents to do this. So let me drag in um, educational discount document which is a page file, pages file. Drag that in there. That should automatically be sorted to my documents folder. So yep, there it goes to my uh, documents folder right there. Um, so that's all these rules do. So any folder you want to have sorted um, the Hazel preference pane is going to do that for you. Um, very simple. It, it takes, it took me about two minutes to set all this up and it's doing everything automatically now for me. It's really, really nice. So that's, that's part of the main made aspect of it, the made aspect, um, of how this is just cleaning up stuff. The uh, next section is the trash folder or the trash area. 
So this has a whole bunch of th settings for your trash can. Uh, the first one is delete files uh, sitting in the trash after more than one week. So if a file has been in the trash can for one week, it's going to be deleted afterwards. The next one is keep file size under one gigabyte. I actually want this four gigs. So return there. Um, and what this is is basically if you're on Windows or you use you have used Windows, you may have run to the point where it says, um, "Sorry, your trash can's the recycling bin's too large. I can't store any more files in here." And what that means is, uh, after about ten percent of your hard drive is full, filled into your trash can, Windows says, "Okay, you have too much crap in here. Uh, you need to clear it, or I'm not going to let you store stuff in here." And um, you should clear it. So this is what this feature adds to Mac OS X. Uh, it's trying to keep your uh, trash can size under four gigs. However, if you throw in a file that's over four gigs, well, you can set it to anything. You also have the option of megabytes or gigabytes. If your file is over four gigs, it's just going to leave it alone. For, this is the next option. Or if the file is over four gigs, just like in Windows, I can have it deleted immediately, which is a really nice feature. And um, and then I have the option of selecting delete files normally or delete, delete files securely, which is a new feature in Mac OS X Leopard. Um, the next option is actually something unique called app uh, enable app sweep and this feature is actually something that was in app zapper I also have app zapper which is a $13 application and what app zapper does is it basically you can throw a file into it and it's going to search your, your computer for every other folder and file related to that all the all the preferences for it and it'll say okay do you want to get rid of all of these files and you have check marks on it well that's built right into hazel and, th and there's a lot more also in hazel aside from that so let me demo this real fast um, let's go to my applications folder and let's say I want to get rid of let's go to podcast maker there we go Pod, pod, podcast maker let's see if I want to get rid of that okay so that's gone now hazel there we go pops up uh, the, it, it found the preferences for podcast maker and I can throw them away now I'm gonna show you something really interesting I'm actually gonna throw these away and you're gonna see something that's gonna happen in a second I'm going to open up my trash can and I'm going to restore Podcast Maker back to my applications folder. Alright, now I've done that. Now we see this. Podcast Maker.app has been reinstalled. Would you like Hazel to reinstall the support files from the trash can? The support files are those files that prompted me to get rid of all, all the preferences. I'll say yes, reinstall all those files that you just deleted. So, basically, this is a really, really, probably the best way to. Uh, delete and, and, and reinstall uh, applications um, I've never seen an application do this on any OS and so if I have a, if I throw away an application now I can get rid of its preferences if I want to and I'm like oh no I really need that application back I can pull it back in I'll throw it back into my applications folder and Hazel is going to prompt me saying do you want to restore the preferences as well and I can say yes or no that's really nice and uh, that's something that I think is really really a killer um, a killer compared to a applications like AppZapper. I think it's really, really nice. Um, so that's the uh, trash uh, area. The next one is info. And all info is is basically show Hazel in the menu bar, stop Hazel, check for updates. It's very simplistic stuff. It also shows you, shows you your license. Um, but it's very simple stuff. So that is Hazel. And Hazel, like I said, any Mac user who, who's even remotely interested in organizing his or her computer should definitely buy this computer. It's only or this uh, application. It's only twenty one dollars, and that's not a whole lot. And they give you a fourteen day free trial. So if you want to just try it out and see if you actually like it or don't like it, just download and try it out. It's that simple.